Illinois' 5th Congressional District in another of our series about the current debt ceiling debate that's going on in Congress. Right now, uh, the Biden administration refuses to negotiate. The Biden administration has said they want a clean debt ceiling. That means they don't want any reforms, they don't want any reductions, they don't want any clawbacks. Uh, they just want to be able to keep spending money and going hand in glove with, the, with their uh, profligacy is their budget request that takes the current spending level from $6.1 trillion uh, this fiscal year, fiscal year 2023, to a $7 trillion uh, spend in fiscal year 2024. And so they would, they would continue to pile on national debt because we don't have that much money. We just simply don't have that much money. So I heard a, a friend of mine tell me, he was explaining this to his constituents. It's like uh, you give $10 to your child, they're gonna go pick up some stuff at the grocery store, but they come back with $15. Uh, and, and, and he says, well, what happened? He said, well, I bought an additional $5, but we don't have $5, we only had the $10. So we had to borrow that additional five. That's kind of what it is. It's, it's, a, it's a simple example, but that's, that's the way to get it. But here's what the Republican plan House leadership plan looks like. It's different to the, than the Democrats' plan. Um, there is a, there's a, 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 a spending reduction, it's a, it's a spending cut in fiscal year, uh, uh, in the first year of this, back to the fiscal year 2022 level. That, that will produce savings of 130 billion. There are COVID rescissions. In other words, money that was allocated through the COVID plans, the spending plans, you get back 50 billion of that clawback that. Uh, this is the IRS agents. It was 80 billion when we put in, and now it's 71 billion. So this, the unconstitutional student loan uh, program of forgiveness or restructuring that the Biden administration put that, that that's you get back. That's, that's a savings of 465 billion. Um, the, the Green New Deal tax plan that will say by not doing those tax subsidies and credits. We'll save $271 billion this year, first year. Um, there's spending that goes with it, that's $25 billion. And then trying to impose work requirements on people who are receiving um, welfare benefits of some kind or within a certain age. By, by modifying that just a bit, you can, you can get $10 billion. So the total savings, now remember this is savings. This has nothing necessarily to even do with the national debt. The savings is a trillion dollars. But over 10 years, the total savings is $4.6 trillion, over 10 years. So um, remember that, I'm gonna come back to that in a second. But the 2023 estimated outlay reduction, in other words, the reduction in need for borrowing are subject to the debt limit increase. So the, the Democrats are asking for like three, three and a half trillion dollars for an 18 month uh, extension of the Republican plan, well, the House leadership plan calls for $1.5 trillion increase in the credit limit. Um, and all of this stuff here only reduces that 1.5 by about $80 billion. That's, that's a huge thing um, because you still are raising your, your debt uh, uh, significantly. So I wanted to show you this poster real quick. And try to try to get this for you so you can see this. This is the February 2023 from the Congressional Budget Office. This is what they say. Um, they say that the debt subject to to the debt limit, the statutory debt limit. This is the, the key figure right here. After 10 years, in 2033, it'll be. $52 trillion, more than $52 trillion will be our national debt. That's, and they're notorious for underscoring. So my guess is gonna be higher than that. They predict $52 trillion. CBO, Congressional Budget Office, $52 trillion. Now what does the Republican plan do then? If we give them credit, if we give them credit for saving $4.6 trillion dollars over 10 years. 
we are looking at about $47.5 trillion in national debt. That's the Republican plan. And it just doesn't quite seem like it does enough to bend the curve down. We've got to stop spending more than we bring in on a monthly basis. If we do that, we can start taking care of this uh, and, and, and business trajectory down to make it actually meaningful. I'll keep you posted.